God has said so many things in his word concerning those that would walk before him and walk by faith. And one thing that I can praise God for as I read even in the 12th chapter of Genesis, the promise that he made to Abraham, one of those things that he said to Abraham, not only will I bless you and thou shalt be a blessing, bless him that bless you, curse him that curse you, but he also said to him that I will even make your name great. And it is, it is God alone that whomsoever he chooses, that he does some things that no one understands. And it is uh, certainly a um, humbling experience to know uh, that even when uh, the Lord says, my work here is done. And uh, was it not Solomon that said in the first chapter of Ecclesiastes, he thought about all of the work he had done. And he said, when I thought about it, I hated it because I knew not who would come after, whether he would be a wise man or a fool. Pastors are dying every day. Since our convocation three weeks ago, we've already lost three bishops. And they tell me we have another one that's kind of hanging. And I've seen men work and their work quickly destroyed by a successor who was so willing to build his own image that he trampled on everything that had gone before him and even attempted to compete with a dead man. I've seen it happen. But God, in his move this evening, said that if, and God forbid that it happened, but if that were to happen, that temple of deliverance, at least when the people come in this direction, they would be compelled to remember the work because the street itself would bear the name. <laughs> Amen. And yes, when, when I think about 